good afternoon students uh, i am back with the lesson uh, of compound and complex sentence today uh, we are going to deal with complex sentences uh, what are complex sentences and how uh, it can be understood in a sentence okay a sentence consists of a main clause main clause is also called principal clause and one or more subordinate clause subordinate clause there is one main clause in a sentence and over that there can be uh, two or more clauses which are dependent on the principal clause that are called dependent clause or subordinate clause uh, main principal clause is not clarified further but subordinate clause are divided into categories what are the kinds of subordinate clause and how we can make out is the first one is noun clause okay noun clause it performs a function of a noun in a sentence okay a noun clause performs a function of a noun in a sentence as for example she told us that she had the book that she had a book in the sentence performs a function of a noun and that's why it is called noun clause his fear is that he may lose the match that he may lose the match is noun clause we heard what your mother said what your mother said we heard what your mother said here is again functioning as a noun clause in a sentence function of a noun clause what are the function of a noun clause uh, noun clause acts as a subject of a verb in two ways uh, noun clause is used as a subject of a verb and as an object of a verb how it is used as a subject of a verb why she came late is not known okay it is acting as a subject of the verb why she came late is not known as an object i don't remember what he said then what he said then noun clause now moving on to adjective clause again here it's in the similar way adjective clause are those clause that functions like an adjective in a sentence qualify some noun or pronoun in the principal clause like uh, see the sentence the person here he is the is the the person is a principal clause on which it is dependent whose brother won the race qualify some noun or pronoun in the principal what it is whose brother won the race it is qualifying the person hang me coming on to the next example again we will see functions like an adjective and qualifies some noun or pronoun in the principal clause people who live in glass house who live in glass house adjective class should not throw stones at others people who live in a glass house should not throw stones at other who live in glass houses sorry uh, people who live in glass houses should not throw stones at others who lives in glass houses over here is qualifying the principal clause and giving the sentence last one the car he gifted me was expensive he gifted me again qualifying some noun and pronoun was expensive and gifted me adjective okay moving on to the next is adverb clause now again as in noun and adjective case we have seen that it qualifies the uh, as functions as a adjective and noun in the similar way function of an adverb in relation to some word again here the function of an adverb in relation to the principal clause or the main clause on which the whole sentence is dependent it modifies modify means gives more clarity to a verb an adjective and adverb that is used in the sentence it indicates adverb gives us time reason manner contrast or condition uh, we all know the definition of adverb no first you separately uh, uh, have a thought in your mind what an adverb is something that is added to the verb is adverb here we are talking about adverb clause so what will be the sentence relation 
its relation to some word in the main clause in the main sentence when it is used and the subordinate clause which is used modifies it as a verb an adjective it can be anything an adverb in it it gives us the modification where when how what okay example we know where he lives again where he lives is modifying telling us that where he we know uh, thing make hay while the sun shines we should make hay when sun is shining in the rain it will go and make hay it will be spoiled okay so when while the sun shines last one she behaves as if she were the queen now we are talking about a uh, behavior of somebody and it is modifying it if she were the queen i hope this in the complex sentences noun clause adjective clause and adverb clause is clear to you the last part which we will be dealing with is uh, in the last video that is compound sentences that is the easiest one after uh, what we have done in complex sentence uh, if you like the explanation please uh, like and subscribe to my channel for more updates thank you